Grace. Today I have a wonderful guest. It's celebrity time. Yay! The new edition. Yeah. Celebrities. <laughs> Miss Kira Sultanovich. <gasps> That's when you need the studio audience. That's and people right. stand up and I go, sit please sit down. That's very kind. Oh, flowers. Aww. That's so sweet. Well, let's pretend we have great. an audience. You know, I'm sure the audience has seen you. Sure. Girls behaving badly. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yes. Pranking people. Yes. You're really good at it. Thank you. You are awesome. Thanks. And Grace. I saw your reel for the Tonight Show. The, okay. The, the, I keep saying the phone booth. Everybody says the phone booth. You know what it is? I think it's like, you know, the, the Paris in the, the spring. You ever seen that little test that they do where, where people, their mind plays tricks on them? Yes. People read it like it's Paris in the spring? Yes. People always call it the photo, uh, the phone booth. The, see, you call it right. I, I call it, I <laughs> You'll be on the train Everybody, now. everybody calls it the phone. They're like, you're wow. so funny in that phone booth. I know. And I was like, what was I doing in it? <laughs> With the pictures. Oh, like a photo booth? Right, right. Exactly. A photo booth. <laughs> it's always, yeah. But thank you. It's fun to do. It's You're great at it. I have another it. one coming up, so look for another one. Really? How yeah. many have you done so far? Four. Wow. Yes. That's great. So it's like and a regular thing. It's a regular bit. Yes. Yeah, awesome. they love it. They love it. The show the show loves it, obviously. They keep bringing it back. They I don't do why. many. They don't do, like, they do, like, jaywalking yes. a lot. And they do a couple other ones that they, you know, but it's rare to have one that has sustained, you know, yeah, because you are now such, five. Such a great job. I mean, do you come up with this stuff like boom? Well, there are writers and producers that sit around thinking, I wonder what we could get people to do. Do you think uh, anyone would get naked? <laughs> you tried Let's a hope. lot, right? Yeah, one guy did. <laughs> no, he didn't. One guy, I said, for your free photos, take off your shirt. No. Yes, and he t and his girlfriend was like, just do it. <laughs> so he took off his shirt, and then I said, for your free photos, take off your pants. No. And his girlfriend's like, come on. So he takes off, pulls out his man junk. No. Yes, pulled out he his. He had no underwear? Well, he, he, had, he had bikini underwear on. No, he didn't. Yes. Oh, my God. And he pulled out his doodle. No, no. Yeah. Oh, what did you say? We had to pixelate it, and I said, well, the thing is, it's an automated voice that I do, so yes. I have to kind of stay in character. Yes. So I have to keep that automated voice, so I said, <laughs> thank you. You know what I mean? Like I, I was like gulping, like swallowing the laugh. I can imagine. Yeah, probably not a good analogy to swallow the laugh while a naked man is. Um... Anyways, you know what I mean. He was naked in the photo <laughs> That is booth. insane. What other crazy things have people done? People have done nutty stuff. Uh, I, t I told this one guy he was holding like a five-year-old girl, kind of like holding her like under his arm, and I said to activate the free, I do the whole vo the voice, I, I go, it. to activate, please throw your child in the air. Oh my God. And he throws his kid up, and like the kid's like hitting her head no. on the top of the photo booth. Oh my God, the crazy things it's people nuts. would do for, to save what, 50 cents? I, well, now or it's five like inflation. <laughs> yeah, probably like five dollars. But it's fun, it's fun. Oh my and God, I, I I'm surprised that no one has caught on yet because we are at Universal Studios. Great. But, you know, maybe but, they won't, hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully they will never catch on. <laughs> hypnotizing, never, you never know what's happening. It's you not You want real. free photos. <laughs> She's not the voice behind the photo booth. Yeah. She's Actually, I've had people recognize my voice from they the front, which is weird because it's a not a voice that I, you know, I don't walk around the grocery store saying, I need apples. 
I need oranges. <laughs> but for but some you, reason, people have recognized. You do have a recognizable voice. You have one of those voices. It's not a generic really? voice. Yeah, you have some kind of sexy thing going. Oh, okay. Yeah. Maybe I should get a voiceover agent. <laughs> I don't have one. You don't? No. I'll give you mine. Um, my okay, agent's name. Look at that. Yeah, All right. she's really good. I'm moving and shaking. Yeah, I'm definitely cable well, I'm access. working right here. This is how it happens. <laughs> this is Hollywood. Right here. Even though it looks like the sun is rising or setting, <laughs> you don't know which one with the, it's like this dawn, dusk kind of. We're in a studio. Uh -huh. It looks like we're outside, you know, with the foliage, foliage, whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, that's real. And fauna. It's yeah. real, yeah. It's really, it. you, yes. you actually do have to dust leaves. I in, hear you. Yeah, I real know. leaves, so it's you, partly true. You know, that bird sound you just did. Yeah, it reminds me of I just, a prank. Did I just blow one of the, the <laughs> you poor did. audio engineer's ears that's out? that's okay, that's okay. We did do a prank. We just project. We, I had to do a fake bird. I know, that was you so much fun. You saw that one? Fun. Yeah, I saw okay, it. Okay, okay, good, because I don't know when they are airing new ones, you know, they always kind of mix them up. But and yeah. people, how could she fall? She was like, I can't believe I fell for it. I lost this fake bird that we made up. <laughs> and uh, I had this woman in the mall. You know those little pet shops they yes. have in the mall with these random little, you know, bunnies set up? And we had one of those set up in the mall. And I said, I need your help if you could just call out to the bird. Oh, how funny. So we had a PA, which is Hollywood speak for production assistant. They make about minimum <laughs> wage, sometimes less. <laughs> They don't get pee breaks, nothing. <laughs> Bring your own saltines to work day. That's and, right. Uh, and I had him like all the way down the other side of the mall. And I said, if you, you know, call out to the bird. So she's like, Kaka! Kaka! <laughs> and this PA is behind like, you know, the wet seal or whatever. Oh no. And he's like, Kaka! And she's like, I heard it. I heard it. <laughs> it's Kaka! Oh. <laughs> and the PA is laughing. He's like, Kaka! <laughs> And she was so incredibly helpful. She's like, it's here somewhere. Oh, so I put cute. bird seed in her hands. I was like, stand with your hands out. She did that. And I put and some on her head. And I was like, and the bird will come to you. And she totally you, bought she it. She was so great. I loved her. She was great. And then she said that her friend was into birds or something. And how yeah. did she fall for it? That's how good how you did she, are. Yeah. You oh, are really good. That, thank you. I, I totally I buy everything. I pride myself on my fake bird sounds <laughs> and the ability to draw poor, unsuspecting people exactly. into a bird seed situation. Well, you're fabulous at it. Thank you, Grace. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I actually had someone recognize me. I was uh, playing a waitress in one of the pranks. And um, I come to the table and I was like, oh, can I get you guys some drinks? You know, just part of the prank, set up the reality of it. Because yes. that's how you get people, just sure. set up the reality. And she goes, you know, you look like... Right? And I go, well, uh, the Kira from that show Girls Behaving. I'm, I'm surprised she didn't say Girls Gone Wild because a lot of people say Girls Gone Wild by accident. They do another one of those like phone booth things. Like the photo phone yes. booth. And I said, oh, yeah, yeah. And in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, okay, what, what should I do to get out of this? And I said, yeah, we're just on hiatus right now. So to make some extra money, I'm, you know, just waiting tables. Oh, And she good. was like, oh, which is totally believable in Los Angeles. Yeah. Absolutely. And she still fell for it. And she fell for it. <laughs> I mean, come on, if I see you, I'm like, uh-uh. Right, exactly. <laughs> like, camera. even if I say, oh, I'm right. just here, I'm just a stripper on the off days. Yes. <laughs> I'm just... That I might believe. I'm riding the pole. <laughs> right, because we're not shooting right now, so I need to make some extra cash. Oh, and wow. And she still fell for it. You know, um, most comedians have usually a funny family or a comedy gene. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, were your parents funny? No. Where did you get that from? <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, I don't know, probably like a great, great grandparent. <laughs> One of those G's that's floating yeah. around. No, my parents are funny in the sense that they think they're funny. They think they're, they oh, think really? they're funny. They but make they're jokes not. and stuff and they're like, oh, I'm funny? Yeah, or? yeah, no, like my dad's not funny. He's not out. No, like he thinks he is. Like I'll say like, like when I was in college, I'd be like, oh, I'm hungry. Can you put some money in my bank account? And he thought it was funny by putting like 10 bucks. In my bank account, you thought that was funny. <laughs> you are good. No, they, they, they are not. They're, they're, they enjoy my humor. Like they come out to see my yes. stand-up. They'll come out and catch me and, and you know come see shows. 
but they're they're not in public situations. Again, they think they think they're my funny, mom is yeah. funny by accident because she, English is our second language. So she'll say things like, you know, you you can relate yes, to this. She'll absolutely. say things like, um, oh, that lady, you know, she's so stupid. <laughs> she's such a airhead. Airhead. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'll be like, yeah, well, that's the right way to say it. But sometimes she'll be like, she is so arrowhead, like the arrow, that, like the water. Oh, that's so cute. Arrow, She's, arrowhead. Oh. And she made me mushroom. Um, I make you mushroom mildew tomorrow night for dinner. Oh, how cute. What is that? Exactly. <laughs> what is a mushroom? There's this thing at Trader Joe's they sell mushroom medley. Oh, how cute. Like she called it mildew. Mildew. That yeah. is so cute. So she's funny by accident, which is a sad, yes. sad thing. But is she a character? Yeah, they are. Like in the 80s, she was like the Peg Bundy of our neighborhood. Oh, really? Yeah, she wore like the tight, tight, and the high heels and like the big bustier. She was a hot hair. mama. Yeah, my mom was hot. So every time I would get in trouble at high, in high school, which I was in the principal's office every day because we were dating. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. yeah. Oh. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was my first lesbian experience. Um, I'm, I'm not a lesbian. I hate softball. My point is, I was a bad kid, so I was in the principal's office all the time. But everyone loved it when I would get in trouble. Why? All the high because my mom would have to come to school. Oh no! And she'd be walking down, you know what I mean, like down the courtyard of our school, like in the, you know, with the high heels, click, 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 oh, and cute. like the Peg Bundy outfit, and all the teenage boys were like, ay, 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 so they loved it when I was in trouble. Don't you find that maybe foreign women are more comfortable with their yeah, bodies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With like, the nipples on the other side of the clothes. Exactly. Sure. Absolutely. Sure. Topless. Yeah. Right? So maybe she has that going. Sure, I think so. Yeah. yeah they're not as conservative. Like, my mom never wore, like, polo shirts. Really? No. Jeans? No, she's not like a sucker mom. She's no. more like a hot mama. No, 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 no. Definitely. Yeah, no, no. She, she was the mom, like, the soccer players' moms would cheat with. You know what I mean? It's like, she, oh. she's like one of those... There's a new show, soccer or no, footballers' wives. That's yeah, what it is. something like that. Yeah, Where they're there's all so like many hot other. and gorgeous. And, right. Yeah, so that's my mom. So yeah. did she embarrass you a lot? Both my parents. Both your parents. Yeah, because the, you can relate. They have yes. that European thing. Well, my dad would walk around his underwear, but it was like that tight <gasps> European man underwear. Oh no, please! You know what I'm talking oh. about? Like the oh. tie, like bikini. No. Like a sperm tourniquet. No. Like tight. <laughs> Like just and like all oh, high oh. up and back, oh. like a little yeah. Oh no! It's and like how, to see how was I born? Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, how did the sperm get out right? and, and find its way out? I don't know. Oh my god! Yeah, my friends would come over to my house, twelve years old, like twelve year old girls. Yes. And it's like, how can you avoid? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> they would try to look my dad in uh -huh. the eyes, like, hey, no, Mr. Soltanovich, um, <gasps> oh uh, is Kira god. home? Like they didn't, you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. How embarrassing. You could like tell my dad's religion. Oh, no. <laughs> you know I guess I mean? he's Jewish. Okay. Yeah, he is Jewish. Oh my God. How yeah. funny. And so, so you have the Jewish thing too. I have the Jewish thing. Yeah, because Jewish that's a funny thing. Right? The Latino thing. The, the curse Jewish. of the Jews. <laughs> I love Jewish men, so hey. I know it's you do. It's not a curse. I know you do. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're Russian, Russian Jews, Russian, Soviet Jews. Right, so they, you had the double whammy, like for comedy, the Jewish thing, because sure, it's funny. Sure, And there the are Russian couple, foreigner thing. A couple Jews in comedy, a couple Jews have made a it couple, right. in the stand-up world. Exactly. Yeah. I think ethnic is just funny because in this culture, they find us funny. Right. Right? Well, but in our countries, we're not funny. Like, I'm not funny in my country. You're like, not funny in your country? Well, I am... But not some of the things I say here, like clash with the culture right, right, right. or the views. Mm -hmm. So it's like, oh, that's funny. It's like, oh, what? Really? Yeah, <laughs> right. yeah, yeah. I see what do you're you saying. have that happen to you? Well, yeah. I mean, like, I'll do my mom an impression of my mom. She loves to go to movies and then give you a review of the movie. Oh no, forever, huh? But you have no idea what she's talking about. No. She went to go see recently. Um, uh, uh, um, Memoirs of a Geisha. Yes. Well, not recently. Now it's been a couple months now. Yeah. But she went and saw it like late when it. But you have no idea what she's talking about. But she loved the movie so much. She stresses how much you have to go see. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. What's it about, Mom? Oh my God, I tell you what it's about. Okay, they have the lady, right? She comes in and everybody's like, no, no, no. And then a man comes out and he goes, no, everybody. And they have the 
dress and she coming with the dress and the music comes in and everybody's standing there and oh my god so beautiful and the one man he says no 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 oh how funny what in the world are you talking about <laughs> yeah, exactly i oh, have no cute. idea what you saw mm. zero what is it is it an action movie is, is it, it a and, comedy and then what? she gets mad because i tell you what no. is going in the man he comes in and everybody goes no come on and the ladies are walking around. Oh my God! How like you funny! Have no clue. She described Brokeback Mountain the same exact no. way. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, she went to go see Brokeback, and she goes, "Oh my God, this is such a beautiful movie." What was it, Mom? Oh my God, love story. There was this man. He comes in. Everybody's running. <laughs> then he says, "No, no, no!" And the music is so beautiful. And everybody, come on, let's go. Oh, how funny! <laughs> That's Brokeback Mountain for everybody. What's it in called? Brokeback right? Mountain. <laughs> That's your mom's version. So, That's what is great. it? Action movie? Oh, it's romance. It's romance. <laughs> Do you understand that you just, just didn't oh, say no. anything? You didn't tell me a plot or characters. That is so. That's what's funny in, in that sense of like. The way they the describe culture, things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the way they think. Maybe it's a language thing. They think that they're, they're telling, they're conveying yeah, exactly. the entire plot to you, but. But saying, and everybody, come on, doesn't mean anything. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what Which I mean? in Russian means, Which Russian they slept means, together. Right, you know? probably. <laughs> oh, these that immigrants. That is too funny. But I love going back home. Like, I love going to San Francisco where I grew up and going into the house I grew up in, you know, and all the memories sure. and all the smells of your childhood, know, you know. Cool? Like armpits and vodka. <laughs> you know, they, they all just come flooding <laughs> And tight underwear. To I me, can't right. get over that. You get over it easily. Is he still doing that? Sure. No. Yes. Like when you bring home a boyfriend? Well, he doesn't walk around in his underwear anymore. Oh, thank God. Because I started talking about it on stage. Oh. <laughs> yes. So that he stopped. That is good. He stopped. So he never, he was never aware how bad that is? Did you ever well, tell him? Of course you were I would tell him, but I complained about everything when I was a teenager. Oh. So he never took, you know what I mean? Like I complained right. about everything that he did. So he's like, what? You don't like the way I make the fish too, you know? Oh, that's and so, so cute. he didn't really take anything seriously. seriously. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's Jinx. hysterical. Yeah. Well, on the subject of men, bringing them home. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you prank your dates? Uh, I don't prank. Well, okay, one time um, I went out with a guy. Uh, it was Halloween, and we were going to meet at a restaurant. So the whole restaurant was like one of those cheesy, like, TJ Friday Bennigan's type oh, of places. Yeah. And so it was completely decorated with, like, you know, witches on broomsticks and, like, you know, like a skeleton <laughs> hanging from the door. So when I saw him coming up, I took one of the skeletons, and it was like a, a human-sized skeleton, and I hung it over myself. <laughs> so when he came, <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking. He, like, walked up, and I just, I got 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 you know? <laughs> It's not so much a prank as a bunch of an icebreaker. <laughs> yeah, for the wow. first date. Did yeah. you ever date him again? No. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> but I did date this one guy. I went on a blind date with him, and my friends that set me up didn't tell me he lived in a studio apartment in Hollywood. That's not the bad news. He lives with eight cats. Oh, you. In one room. No. How do you have oh. how do you have eight cats in a studio? Like what happens when you have like four, five, six cats and you think to yourself, you know, Yeah. How can I get more of an ass smell <laughs> in here? More of an assy ass, mm. more cats. Yeah, let's go to the pet it's store. So far. <laughs> That's right. How do you have eight oh. cats and he didn't have like regular furniture? Not like this fine Ramada in furniture. <laughs> His whole studio apartment was decorated in like that cat furniture, you know, where no. it's, yeah, it's all that like cat scratch, like, oh my God, like the round weird. thing was like his couch, you oh know what I mean? And like all those, like the structure, like the carpeted cat structure. Do you know how difficult it is to make out on a cat scratcher? <laughs> I'm being serious. I assume you didn't date him too long. No, he was like half cat himself. Like, when you have eight cats, like, he answered the door, and he's like, uh, hey, uh, how's it going? Uh, yeah, we're gonna have some, you want a drink? Lift your leg. <laughs> we're going to have some fun tonight. You're crazy. I know. I love you. You're great. Thanks, Grace. So, any other weird dates you went on? 
I did date this one guy who was seven years younger than me. It wasn't a date. We dated for a year. I don't know really? what I was thinking. Yeah, it was. He was so young. I could smell the Similac on his breath. <laughs> like, so young. I don't know what. I was old enough to be his molester. That's how much older. <laughs> Young, too oh. young. I asked him if uh, he ever uh, liked Atari as a kid. Remember Atari? Yes. And he uh, he was like, Atari, actually, I'm not really into sushi. <laughs> no clue. Right, Atari? right. Atari? No, you're thinking Unagi or <laughs> <Right>. like, something <laughs> else. All right, you're too young. Get out of here. <laughs> right, exactly. But young guys like to like pick me up. Like there, really? there are some comedy clubs which let 18-year-olds in. Yes. And I had this one 18-year-old ask if he wanted if he could buy me a drink. I haven't had an 18-year-old buy me a drink since I was 12. Oh, how cute! Since you were <laughs> so you know what I mean. Like I was flattered. <laughs> I bet it was insane. How about yeah. older guys? Do you like older guys? No. Why not? not? Because Do you like I'm to not, buy depends or anything. Like yeah, that? yeah, I'm not into like I get scared enough when my own clumps of hair come out in the shower. I don't oh, need to worry cute. about <laughs> about problems. I know. Tell yeah, me about it. Yeah, yes. No, I'm, I don't know. I've never been into that. I did date one guy ten years older than me. That's not that old. I d it's not that much older. Nah. I was I was th thirty. No, no, I was twenty nine. He was thirty nine. That's not bad. That's not that bad. No. But it was a bit like he was already showing signs oh, of like aging. And yeah, sure. We'll just keep it at balding. Oh. <laughs> I don't know how much. Yeah, I don't know how, much, yeah, don't know how much you can talk about on cable <laughs> actor. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, no. I don't <laughs> but think I know so. it's, it's yeah in cahoots with the underwear thing. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Was yeah. no. so unenthusiastic. Oh no! Yeah, I what think can they do? lose their enthusiasm after know. like thirty something, like late thirties? Because I was married. Is it? Yeah. Oh no! I don't know what it is. So what? What do you do? They get it back when they're like sixty. I'm not kidding. Really? <laughs> yeah. There's a period between like forty and fifty-five or sixty. What that happens? That men are not as yeah. I don't know what it is. And then I guess they figure, well, I better get a it. Corvette. Yeah. Yeah, exactly, and do it real quick, because I'm going to die any moment. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's kind of sad. I know, it's weird. When you're weird. 60, shouldn't you be worried about, like, other things? Like Retirement. Your teeth? And, yeah, your, yeah. Like, keeping them <laughs> inside Dye the your hair. Yeah, like... Yeah. Yeah, huh. but no, they're worried about that. Well, thank you. You've given me a lot to think about. I know, yeah. And then I will be into the younger man, I guess. The <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in here? I know. What's going on? There's an oh, anarchy. Five yeah, minutes? we're being we have five kicked. Minutes? We're being kicked out. Oh no! Okay, and that's our what fake happens. Audience, come on, come audience! Come on, Woo! make some noise. Kira Sultanovic, don't go. And she also awesome? go. <laughs> that's what happens. You know, it goes by fast. Absolutely. Yeah, they have to rotate the fake plants. Yeah, they do. Keep we're the light. Have to go on a break, right? Is that what happens? Five minutes are, yeah. Okay. Right, they have to and water them. Water, well, sure. Yeah, sure, they're gonna have to spray them. Actually, this furniture is not bad. No, it's I, not I bad. I said Ramada I was, I no, this is definitely um, Holiday Inn, which is a little bit better, I think, <laughs> than Ramada. It's not bad. Tell me, how do you like working for girls behaving badly in the Tonight Show? What, it's what fun. is that experience like? No, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. I mean, it's it's. They're two different things, even though I do hidden camera on The Tonight Show. Yes. With the, with the girls being badly, you can do so many wacky, ridiculous, like they don't even make sense. Like things that are, like, I had to wear a dog cone. Oh no. And I was walking this dog down the street, and he, the dog's not wearing a cone, I am. Ah. And people stop me and they're like, shouldn't the dog be wearing that? Are you serious? And, and I'll be like, no, my, my vet said to put the cone on and the dog would be better in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's so and funny. And they're like, no, no, put the cone on the dog. And I go, are you a vet? <laughs> uh, no. Okay, well then I think I'll take my vet's advice. Thanks. Oh, that's Weirdo. funny. Weirdo. That so it's funny. like you can do so many weird, wacky things. I think that's what's fun. That is, and so you just it. walk down the street with the cone? Well, on that specific one. Sometimes we have very elaborate setups, yes. you know, like like Jamie Kennedy experiment type of setups where we're wearing yes. costumes and we have, you know, characters that we play. Cool. And and they're very elaborate. And some of them are just man on the street stuff where it's just That's random. That's great though, yeah. because people will tell you stuff like that and it's just funny. Yeah, it's just all kind of off the cuff. That's great. Mm -hmm. And the photo booth, I was going to say phone again. The photo booth. How do you come up with that stuff? Do they kind of like look? They say, well, "Let's look for somebody, you know, that we can tell this to." Or do you just? Yeah, we say, "What would people do in a photo booth?" So okay. we have things in mind that we want to try out, 
but you never know because someone will come in and they'll and they'll be wearing like you know something crazy we have to comment on and then that's the bit that makes it in do you know what I mean I know like they'll be wearing like some sort of wacky you know when you go to those amusement parks like yes the, the, people will buy like wacky hats with like the, the <laughs> soda twirly things that you can drink you know soda from or so they'll be doing something with their park employees and we haven't thought of those but we do have things written out like let's see if we can get someone to um, I don't know sing for us or something you know like things that we have written out but we don't always go by those so we do have things planned exactly so there are producers involved and writers so it's not just me but you never know what someone's gonna give you exactly so, exactly that yeah. ha things that happen right how many hours do you spend there oh my god to get like all you know day. a minute of footage all day all day you to would get not, a minute or yeah. two minutes to get five minutes five minutes a whole day that's Can't a lot of work. It. I know. And not like cable back. access. We have one Cable minute. access that hey. just kind of happens. You know, <laughs> one, one take. You can't do cable access for eight hours and then pick your favorite half no, hour. No, you can't even edit. You no just way. do for a half hour like we've been talking. There's no cuts. There's, been no, there's no reshoots. Nothing. No commercials. No PAs. No PAs. Zero. Mm -hmm. They didn't show up today. No, I know. There is an intern program here. There is. I might sign yeah, up for it. I think, like the audience, they're not here. <laughs> What can you do? It's been fun, He's though. He's doing great. It's been great. Thank you so much for being I on the I wish you show. all the success. Thank I hope you. this goes from cable access to <laughs> direct TV access or dish act. I don't know what's next for you in the ladder of, I don't know. I don't you, know. Do in you ever do this chain. in Spanish? Because I know you speak Spanish. Do you this know for what? Univision. I've done it in Spanish. Spanish yes. access. Yeah. There How you do you go. say that? <laughs> Acceso <laughs> Espanol. <laughs> Look at me, See, I do. Oh my God, you only took high school Spanish. Si, yo tengo pregunta. You have a thing for languages. ¿Qué es tell. esto? <laughs> oh, no. Esta las fake plants. <laughs> How do you oh, say that in Spanish? Oh, you got an A. How do you say that in Spanish? Uh, planta falsas. Planta falsas. <laughs> yo tengo hambre. Or is it hambre or hombre? Hambre. Hambre. hombre. Right. Oh, it's hambre. something different. You do that too. Yeah, I'm sure I do. <laughs> I know high school Spanish, so I could, I could be part of your... Your um, acceso español. Acceso español. Me? Yeah, let's try a little bit in Spanish right now. Ask me some. Okay. Some, okay. ¿Cómo te llamas? Me llamo Kira. <laughs> you are ready to rock and roll. Let yeah, me tell you, we are. You. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Let's go. Ready for the Spanish. Is that version. how they tell you guys that it's time? The time's up. They lower the lights on cable yeah. access. I feel like I feel like they're lowering the lights. Yeah, and the plants are even saying they slowly pull yeah. the plug out. Yeah, I think so. You're right. No, seriously, is it in my imagination? You know what? I feel no. like they were like you're lower. right. It's almost like, you're like right. in Vegas. You have such a good eye. I do. I do. I have such a peripheral vision. <laughs> Show me some love, rubber duck, duck, big kiss and a hug. 